Do you know the total number of programming languages that are out there? I, I don't know the number of it. So if you know it, go ahead and put it in the comments. But how many programming languages are you supposed to learn, especially when you are just starting off? Like, what's the target? How many programming languages am I supposed to learn for me to feel confident that I know programming or I'm a, now a software engineer or I'm now a software developer? Is there a number to it? I wish I knew the answer to this question before I even started learning to code, but unfortunately that wasn't the case for me. So today I'm going to answer this question in this video. And before I do that, I want to give you a little backstory so that you will appreciate the context from which I am answering this question. Somewhere in 2012, 2018, that's when I got introduced to programming and it, how it happened, I've talked about it several but how it happened was that I ended up picking up a book that says build your own website with HTML and CSS and that's how I started learning to code. I didn't know about the hundreds of programming languages out there I only picked this book and that book says, oh, you can create your own website using this thing that I'm going to teach you in the book. And that was all I knew. And for me, I knew that in that case, I needed to learn only HTML and CSS to be able to create my own book. Is that not the case? And um, nope, that wasn't the case. So I delved into the book, started to learn HTML and CSS. After some time, that's, I mean, yes, I, two years or yeah somewhere two years i discovered that html and css alone is nothing if you wanted to really build a website and my inspiration of building a website what i was really looking at was a popular site in the day back in the day like a very popular site that we all who were in high school were always rushing to go on we almost all the time especially when we had ict we were rushing to go to the ICT lab just to log on to this platform. Can you guess it? Go ahead, drop it in the chat. I know a lot of you will not get it, but the answer is facebook.com. So facebook.com was a big deal when I was in high school and everybody was, in fact, like every high school student was trying to create an account and connect with fellow high school students in different schools. And if you told me about websites those were the things i could think of at the time so i wanted to be able to build something like that and i started researching that's when i found out that you needed to know javascript as well to be able to build things like that okay so i started learning javascript but unfortunately javascript was very difficult for me to understand and i know if you are an absolute beginner on the path of learning javascript maybe you would nod and agree with me that javascript is quite difficult for beginners to learn Fast forward to today, I write JavaScript code almost every single day. Like I've been doing a hundred days of code challenge and this is like the 25th day and every single day during this period, I've written JavaScript code. So don't give up yet. It is not the end of the world. JavaScript is fun when you figure it out. But back to the story, I struggled to appreciate JavaScript. So I gave up on the idea of learning JavaScript, especially when I found jQuery which is like a framework out of JavaScript. That simplified the whole JavaScript thing. And now not so many people use it, but back then it was the age, like everybody was learning how to use jQuery. So I quickly jumped from my JavaScript to jQuery. Trust me, I didn't learn JavaScript. I just learned jQuery. And don't be like me. Don't learn any JavaScript framework or library if you do not really understand JavaScript. You need to really appreciate it before you move on. Yes, so to continue the story, I learned jQuery and I started building things with HTML, CSS, and jQuery, which was fun. But I want, I still wanted more because I wanted to be able to build websites like Facebook.com. And how I was going to do that, I realized, oh, Facebook.com, we're able to create user accounts, we're able to manage our accounts and all of that thing. How can I do this? So through the research, I realized, oh, I needed a backend language and I didn't know what a backend language was and I didn't understand those concepts. So Fortunately for me, a friend of mine who we were learning together at the time had also started learning backend development as part of his learning. Like, and he was going for extra classes on that. Like they had someone teaching them. So he was attending those classes and he came to share with me that, oh, PHP is what we use. And this is what it does. So I came to understand or appreciate that I needed to learn PHP to be able to build something like I wanted to build like something I had in mind to build. 
So I started learning PHP. And to my surprise again, PHP alone couldn't do it. Because now I needed a database, I needed to be able to create the users and store them. And for all of that to happen, you needed another language that would be used to communicate with the database. You may decide not to count these things as programming languages. Maybe you are part of those who do not consider HTML and CSS as programming languages, and that's fine. But these are still technologies that you need to learn, and they are languages. So whether you consider them as programming language or not is beside the point. I'd learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript in quotes because I didn't learn JavaScript. I just learned jQuery, then now PHP, and I had to pick up my SQL to be able to write database queries. So here I am, I've learned five things and I think that's enough, isn't it? I mean, if you're just starting out and they say you're going to learn five different programming languages before you're able to build the things that you want to build, will you be happy to start? I think that if I was probably told that I had to learn like five different languages to be able to build the things I wanted, I probably would give up, <laughs> would have given up. But anyway, I'm still here, I haven't given up, and I've still learned a lot more languages than these five. So the question is, how many languages do you really need to learn for you to survive in this field? The answer is that instead of seeing it from the angle of how many programming languages, you should start seeing it from the angle of what tech stack should I learn? So most of these are put together because to build something, depending on the domain that you are in, if you want to build something tangible, there are a collection of technologies that you should be able to know or you should have experience with to be able to build something tangible. And that collection of technologies is referred to as a tech stack. So going back to the example I gave you where I learned the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, MySQL. That's like one tech stack. So if I tell you that, oh, you want to be a PHP developer or a full stack PHP developer, that's like one whole for a tech stack that you need to focus on. So someone can actually survive on being like that tech stack developer, right? And there are several others. You hear about main stack, lamp stack, man stack, and several other stacks. Right, depending on a combination that needs to be used for a particular project. But as I said, it depends on the domain you find yourself in. So if you have decided to become, say, a front-end dev, the tech stack that you need to focus on is a bit different because your focus is on just building front-end applications. If someone is becoming a back-end dev, then their focus will also be on a tech stack that is for back-end development only. If you've decided to become a full-stack engineer or a developer, then the tech stack that you're going to focus on is comprehensive enough for you to be able to use to build a full-stack application. You just need to figure out which tech stack is going to work best for you and stick to that. If you want to pick up multiple tech stack, that's up to you, but the best you can do for yourself is to focus on one tech stack at a time and make sure you get a good understanding and good experience with that tech stack so that you're able to get things done with it as much as possible. One other thing that I have observed over time is that there are these people that teach us these things that know a lot more tech stack and sometimes you get us confused because the person who is teaching you knows all the programming languages in the world and for that reason you become confused as to whether you are expected to also know all of these. One example that I can give in my case, when I started learning PHP, I was learning from a YouTube channel called The New Boston. And I know it's been a long while they put content out, they, at least the last I saw their content, it's been quite a while. But the people handling the channel, if I remember, was it Alice, the, the guy's name? I, I don't really remember. But then these guys knew a lot of other programming languages. So it wasn't just PHP, it was creating content on various things. So there is Python, there is PHP, there is JavaScript. Like how many languages do you know? And it has run through like almost every channel where people are teaching how to code. Most of them are teaching all of these different programming languages. So the question is, how many languages do I really need to, need to know? But over time I came to understand and I appreciate that these people are teachers. They are teaching, so their, their role is to learn the thing and come and teach it to you, break it down in the way that you would appreciate it. Personally, I love teaching and I 
have always loved to go that route and that's why i keep learning various technologies to be able to teach others but there is a primary tech stack for me that i use on a regular basis and if you probably are as genius as you think you are you probably should be able to guess which tech stack that i use go ahead and drop it in the comments what is my favorite tech stack that i use on a regular basis and i look forward to who will be able to guess it right now so apart from being that person who is going to be teaching all of these tech stack and for that reason you need to know several of them you don't need to worry your head about knowing tens and hundreds of programming languages focus on a tech stack that will help you get the work done and just master that one especially if you are looking for a job just make sure that where you are looking for the job what is the tech stack that you are looking for if you want to build your own company start thinking about the product that you want to build this product that i want to build what's the best tech stack for it then focus on those ones make sure that you have a reason to choose the tech stack that you are choosing maybe just ask myself when you are about to get into it you do not know which tech stack you do not know which programming language so you just started with any at all and that is fine for as long as you are learning the foundations the basis that is totally fine but if you are really looking to create a trajectory for yourself the path that you want to go then it is the best decision for you to settle on a tech stack that is really going to get you to where you want to get to so if it is getting a job with big tech companies starts looking at these big tech companies what are they looking for what tech stack are they hiring for then start focusing on those ones if you are looking at building your own company focus on the tech stack that will get you than with a project if you are looking at freelancing then start looking at what tech stack are people looking to use for their project that you can be of help there so that you can also get clients in that respect so to answer the question once more you do not need to focus on learning several programming languages you only need to identify the most relevant tech stack and focus on that tech stack and become the best at it and that solves the problem of learning so many programming languages for which you will not be using any at some point in time and don't be confused by seeing teachers teaching several programming languages and think that oh you also need to learn all those programming languages once again i'm interested in hearing what you think about this topic and also how many programming languages have you learned as of now and what has your trajectory been like what has the path been for you just as i've shared mine please go ahead and share it in the comments i want to really hear about your story as well and thank you for sharing i'll see you in the next video bye bye